Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial here on the Nice Tower channel. Today we are going to take a look at creating this modern reception disk. Before I start, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Now let's jump in. So first, let's create base of the disk. Use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here by 200 centimeter comma 200. Now use arc tool. Draw an arc right here, like this, let the corners. Now take an offset by 60 centimeter and draw a line here and here. And let me delete this surface because we don't need them anymore. And let me draw a curve here too and they let these additional lines now use push pull tool and extrude by 70 centimeter like this then again use offset tool and take an offset by 5 cm like this again extrude by 5 cm and here too like this now let me draw a line here and also here too and Extrude here again by 20 centimeter like this and let me erase these lines and also here here now let me select all and make it group then use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here create some lowers right here 4 cm select all, make it component click on create and let me tick some more copies 7 cm for example 3x like this and also let me make all of them a single group and let me take a copy of that for right side use Rotate tool and take a copy up to here. Let me move it here like this and delete this guideline. Now let's create an Apple logo right here. First, let's create the logo import an image of the logo click on import now let's make it 3d use our tool before that let me explode it now use our tool
now as you can see we made it let me take a copy of that select all and delete that again use ctrl v and paste it here let me extrude it here also select all and make it group rotate it now we have a logo of the apple company so now let's create a plate right here select that a skelet up to here and let me extrude it by three centimeters select all and make it group now let's use the logo here and it's so big let me scale it and before that let me check what's the measure of this curve go to inside of the group select this curve default tray entity info in here you can find it 96 Point four centimeter. So now go to inside of this group, draw a line here, and take a copy of that by ninety six point four. Now select this logo and move it to the middle right here now use solid tools and with subtract option first select the logo then the plate like this now we meet logo right here so then use Fredo scale plugin and with this option we can bend it click this point move it here up to here now click again and bend it by 90 degree enter like this and let me fix here Move it up to here and also here too. Up to here, like this. So let me find soften edge to delete these additional lines window default ray let me check soften edge and also check here so now let me put a material on it For example, this one. A 
and also these lowers like this and here too let me use soften edge again to delete these additional lines go to inside of that and again use paint bucket and put some material here like this and here too that's good now let's create a drawer right here and once here but inside of that use offset tool again take an offset by five centimeter draw a line right here and also here now let me erase these lines and extrude it up to here like this and a drawer use rectangle tool draw a rectangle up to here extrude it by 7 cm again let me select all and make it component click and create and use move tool and take a copy of that up to here now use rotate tool and rotate it like this now go to inside of one of them and use move tool take a copy up to here of this edge then divide it by three use offset tool take an offset by 0.2 and also here and here now let me use push wall tool again extrude it by two centimeter and here two and here also here like this let me put a material here for these drawers and use an object here a chair and a computer right here let me check it should fix it let's remove it here now that's good As you see, our work is done. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.